Guys, let's check out another new seasonal anime. This is called Mao 2099 Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk world, futuristic world, but you got a demon lord. Reverse Isekai should be pretty good. JC staff is on it. Their flagship product, their focus. I'm sure all the resources are going towards Danmachi and all the other JC staff animes should be spread kind of thinly. But I heard the first episode was actually pretty amazing. Let's give it a chance. <laughs> Alnith. Dominance for Alnith. Okay. Humans. Well, who's gonna win? Mortals or immortals? I wonder. Blood magic? That looks sick. This is not a fair fight. Yo, the animation's going crazy! Woo! Alright, alright. Immediately they give us this is the action. This is the standard that we've set. Okay. I I am I, my expectations are pretty high now. This is this is pretty good. Now we could be getting catfished. Every episode one, they're gonna catfish you. Let's just see how it actually is but a show where a, it's a reverse isekai there shouldn't be much action right it's just kind of be more slice of life elements right i feel like these oh there's our mo why are his two titties so shiny <laughs> something about this armor oh, something something about this armor and this shine that just exists on his two pectorals Anyways, I was gonna say Graham Ixarzian, like, what does he say? Hold up. Graham, Holy Sword, Ixasorde, Melody. I feel like, even though I haven't seen this anime, these are buzzwords that we hear in, like, every other isekai, right? Ixasorde, is that from Kashi's hero, maybe? I can't remember. It's not three alliteration, because his middle and last name also has another V in the middle between the syllables. It should be Velval, Velvet, Velvalt. <laughs> v, V, V. Damn, Demon Lord. You got a strong sword. Maybe it's an axe. Excalibur! He got isekai. Heroes Excalibur went off. That golden pillar of light. And then? Oh, the demon lord's a fraud. The, the demon lord got dusted, bro. The hell? How, how do you lose as an immortal being? My theory is that he faked his death to go to a different world. There he is. Wait, 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 wait. He's still here. No, no, no. He's still here. He's still here. Stand proud. You were strong. Yeah, how did you lose as an immortal being, bro? Power of friendship! I have people to protect! You're immortal and you have nothing to protect! What I just said is true. My bullshit cliche line of Because you're immortal, you don't value life, but we are short fleeting life forms and we need to cherish it and work harder forever. You take it for granted. We don't. Therefore, we're stronger. That's so cliche. I love it. Of course it is. I mean, it's happening, isn't it? You're being defeated right now as we talk. True. The shadow cast it beyond. Is that a curse? Are you coming back for his ass? Maybe. Swords. 
sworn enemy my ass. This this is I feel like you guys are secret lovers. <laughs> sworn enemy. There's a lot of mutual respect happening right now, man. You ain't you ain't you aren't enemies. <laughs> you secret lovers. Alright, Isekai time! Yusha Graham has slain the demon lord. Hated, yeah? Really hated? That's a lot of respect. You're crying for him, bro. Alright, let's go to the future. Cyberpunk time. Oh, there he is. Reborn? What? Waited 500 years. He's back. What was that? Okay, also he can just fucking transform like that. Cool. Okay, what was it? My right of reincarnation and race to attend my rebirth? Hold up. You saw the completion of the method. Okay, it's some bullshit lore jargon that we don't have to memorize, but... This is the process of reincarnation. Methanol. That's how he did it. Methanol. Yes. Reincarnated. Where is this? Shinjuku. <laughs> In the underground cathedral of Nelder's dungeon. Before the former Shinjuku station. Oh, who knew that, you know, the cathedral was right below the former Shinjuku. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore, my lord. My, my liege. We're in the modern world of cyberpunk now. They fused together. The planets fused. Fantasion is how they fused. Jesus! 10% of populations left. Anarchy, chaos. Thank you for the exposition. That's right, we have technology now. So we have science and magic. 2099, baby. Fuse the era. Cyberpunk 2099. What would a person that's from like the old medieval times with like feudal monarchies and shit, right? That's the kind of setting that I imagine when you think about heroes and demon lords. You show up to this timeline. This is fucking too much. It's like giving a caveman Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Their brains are going to be fried because they're just not going to know what to do with the stimulation. <laughs> Soundtrack is amazing though. The Lord of Immortals blooming in the abyss. <laughs> Cyberpunk City Shinjuku. <laughs> Many different species. <laughs> Perhaps. I don't think anyone cares about the six dark peers. Now, could the demon lord use his powers to demand like respect from the people of the civilization, or will we be shut down immediately? Does he even have the powers or not? And is there local like science and magic forces like police that can like match his powers? Probably, right? Oh, he's gonna try it. Okay! Okay! We're popping off! Weather magic? There's someone stupid doing something stu- This isn't cool to you? They're not shocked? This is like... Them seeing like a monkey on the street. What the? Who would do this? What, what? Okay. Other stuff too. The clouds, right? The skies are covered through this like layer of... I don't even know what this purple like cloud is. And then beyond that, the true sky has like the moon and also a red orbit around it. Ooh, okay, okay. Why is this stupid? Is it illegal? Are we gonna get in trouble? Forbidden to use it in the city. Grand magic. There's our lover. In the opening as well, right? He was hunched over. Same color scheme. He has a sword. How is he here though? I thought that Metha Noel something was just for the demon lord to reincarnate. And this dude's a fucking mortal, but I guess he's reincarnated too. Or something else happened. <laughs> Oh, 
不死の王国の民はチリチリに各都市へ移っていき。She got a chip! Cyber, cybernetics, just like cyber engineering, it's like some cyberpunk shit. チリチリ各都市へ移っていき。まもなく、一部企業の。Oh, this is some important exposition. Hold up. Disruption happened, caused the citizens of the immortal kingdom to scatter and relocate to the major cities. Okay. Oh, shit. We're getting hunted down. A series of terrorist attack acts by immortals. They demonized. Immortals will treat us as violent creatures rather than people, and they hunted us down. Growing rejection of immortals, demonstration in various parts of the companies. Anti immortals, isolate the immortals, okay. Anti immortal sentiments. Anti immortal weapons! May, Lal Shin. Three are missing. Zenol. There's still a missing one. Am I crazy or did they conveniently miss one person? Uh, I was counting there correctly, right? That was four listed there. There's, and, and then there's two, including her. So that means there's one missing still of the six peers. There it is. The missing one. Marcus. That's not good. Why would you change the subject when you mention the intentionally... Missing one. Hmm, uh, I don't know. Something bad happened. Maybe he joined the forces of the anti immortal squad. Maybe he sold them out. The traitor. Okay. She's like a caretaker, man. I think that was an excuse to get out of the situation, though, more. The fuck? Wait. VTubers just can stream to the fucking central, like, city? What the? There's also an idol group. I think there's like a VTubing idol group as well. Also, is this a reference to a popular VTuber? I like to cover VTuber drama time to time, but I'm not actually too much consuming VTuber content. Is this a reference to anybody? Toa cameo? Toa from, Toa from Hololive. Oh, shit. Toa Hololive. Let's see it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it with the glasses? Hololive glasses. Maybe Toa doesn't wear glasses. Oh, yeah, that, no, no, Toa Sama with glasses is simply stunning. It says this. Hold on, hold on, I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up. Here it is. Womp womp. Here it is. You see, you guys? It's from a Hololive Reddit. There's like glasses. Clearly, this is literally her. This is literally her, bro. I have to sense. Do I have to sense it's a VTuber? Uh, we're an anime reaction channel on YouTube. We're already in the Wild West. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> what is that? That girl was from the opening, I think. <laughs> they turned the porn on. But it's not they. This person did it. This person just changed the TV screens to porn. What? <laughs> she got like a Chi Pao inspired dress. The male grunts are fucking next level. Mm. You're getting filled up, aren't you? Okay, VTuber's back. He's a terrible actor. Aether. That's what that was? まあ、ホロディスプレイ、それ。She fucking yapping. Jesus Christ. He he giving us the breakdown, the explanation with like the specific jargon. Does she go into detail about this? This seems like pretty important though. Of the dialogue, this group IHMI seems important, right? 
IHMI is pretty strict about net regulations and filtering content. They're like some oversight of like some AI, uh, what's the word, censorships, people that goes around like censoring content. Self-proclaim. Super talent. Very pretty, by the way. Super genius. Very pretty, though. Marcos. The traitor, probably. Oh, yeah, he definitely sold out. Looking like he's the main person that sold out and just became, like, the ruler of this city. Got it. Ishimaru Heavy Magic Industries. I-H-M-I. That censorship company that we're talking about. It looks like they do a lot more than just censorship. They're just like the basic local government, maybe. Just big corpo that controls everything. Very futuristic interiors. Oh. <laughs> Is that a mascot? Is there someone in there, or are you a real thing? It's looking like the bunny that we saw in the hoodie of that girl before. Oh, hello. One of these days, guys. In 10 to 20 years. I foresee it. I am a prophet, after all. In 10 to 20 years, right? Apple gonna be selling the iFuckBot. That's right. You're gonna all have your own bots like this, bro. And each year, they're gonna, like, make it even better and better and better, bro. Marcus has good taste. Hello, Kinohara. Did he make you wear that collar? You just look really nice. Oh yeah, that robot, the, the bunny. Mascot character! Ishimari. Okay. Okay. Movement! <laughs> okay, she's the best voice actor so far. I love it when they go out of their way to do, like, you know, English voice acting. It's so funny to me. Ishimaru. So... Why would Marcus, a being from the six demon... Whatever the group, you know, it's a demon lord faction. The theory is that he probably sold out and became rich like this, right? But why a Japanese name for a bunny for a mascot, Ishimaru? Maybe Marcus is a weeb and he just found it very cute. And he's like, oh, so cute, kawaii. Or maybe there's like a different person from the Japanese side that, you know, collaborated with Marcus and, you know, the Japanese guy liked Ishimaru. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to connect like the bunny and Marcus. Movement, indeed, yes. Oh, that's the blood mage guy in the beginning with the cowboy hat, right? He was the one throwing the, like, the blood daggers and shit. Stand. Ignored as he talks down. Look how high this thing ends up too, bro. Imagine how, like, insecure you must be as a person that you need a chair, like a, a podium, like a stand this high up to talk to the common person. Holy shit. You need to speak louder. I can't hear you from up there. Yes. <laughs> Damn. I mean, it's been 500 years. Oh my god, he just said the demon lord's first name, bro. There is no respect being shown here. No. You dare say my first name. Chidori. The only Chidori I know is the fucking, you know, the, the, the thousand, like, screaming birds, you know, fucking Kakashi is penetrating the Takitati. Sasuke, did he cut his hair there? I think so. Something got cut. Maybe his cape. No, nothing got cut. Except his hands! The hand heals, though. Armament forging magic. Magic blade. Okay, it's not just a regular blade. There's, like, magic science, right? There's magic engineering. Also, his wound just, like, disappears really fast. A chip on their back. Everybody's got that little thing. We don't have it, though. We're weaker, too, on top of that. Damn. We're a little Zako to him now, bro. What the hell happened? 
500 years is what happened. Now, the story will be now about the demon lord. Like, he can't overpower these guys, right? We have to live within, like, the confines of this civilization. Will the story be about this demon lord figuring out how to be, like, a hacker? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, like, how does he, like, get his quote-unquote revenge? There is that seemingly hero guy walking around, too. There's a hacker bunny we know. Maybe he'll, like, adapt to this world so well, like Ryder did in Fate Zero. You know how Ryder was like, already, like, ordering off of Amazon Prime? Maybe he's gonna, like, adapt to society and figure out, make his own company? Will he just out corporal this guy, make his own company? Uh, nah, don't do that. He seems pretty confident. Spellbreaker. Magic don't mean shit here. They got Spellbreaker. They can just cancel that out. We're in the modern, you know, society. This is the new meta. I mean, it's been 500 years. The meta's, of course, changed. Magic engineering. It looks like he really did not like Veltal back in the day, huh? Like, all the other ones were pretty much diehard for Veltal, but this guy has such a grudge against him. He's like, yeah, you used to be incantationless. You thought you were hot shit. Not anymore. This guy is out for the fucking vengeance. <laughs> the chip on their neck. That's a next level flex. We don't even have to explain to him. Oh, you want me to explain this thing in a nice exposition manner? Fuck you, you can watch my video instead, Familia. Mm. Okay, Familia basically abstracts away. There's a lot of components to magic, but three of those immediately go away, right? Construction, expansion, incantation gets, you know, uh, going away. But what's the other three? These other three seems very important, though. Hold up. Initialization, construction, expansion, incantation, and proclamation. Incantation. So incantation and proclamation. Initial. Uh, the. Um, is there even fucking any point? I thought maybe if I memorize the three, that's not abstracted away. It'd be important later on. Okay. Minus three. Those. OP. Just proclaim. Magic for all. Uh, everyone can use it, but us. How convenient. I wonder if the hero can use it, but the hero should be a regular person, not like a immortal being, so I bet he could use it. No! Five hundred year plan. I would right now continue to cast magic just so that this motherfucker would shut up. Because it sounds like he needs to say Spellbreaker. <laughs> At that point, I'd be like, I don't care. Even if my magic's gonna get cancelled, I'm gonna keep spamming magic until you slip up. Also, that's another thing. You need to proclaim it. You need to proclaim it. You need to still say it. You know? He can't just think Spellbreaker, right? He needs to proclaim it. So if we somehow create a scenario where he couldn't just say it, he couldn't proclaim it, then we would win, right? Here's another thing. I bet the hacker girl could somehow beep boop beep boop fucking, I, I'm a hacker, and hack into the familia and shut down the abstraction portion away. And if we get rid of that, right? If we could just turn the familia off, then we would win, right? So the hacker girl is probably going to be very important for this. なぜなぜなぜと見苦しいですね。本気で思っていたのですか。初めから気に入らなかったんですよ。の上を行く様が審査が嫌いだったんだよ。そんな男のもとはいけなかった。私の気持ちがお前に分かるか。もっと失礼
That was a small explosion. Yeah, this is gonna be my favorite character. She is so fucking serious about Ishimaru, bro. Our mascot! She's so serious. Everything she voices is so serious. But she talks about such little trivial things like her mascot Ishimari, right? So you know uh She doesn't know how to read the room. She doesn't know how to read the room and even he's like you can bring up that in the talking meetings, like what do, you, what do you want right now, bro? Like, okay, okay. So you know uh My favorite character so far. <laughs> You gotta say sorry, man. I'm on this guy's side. You can't just bump to someone in public and say shit and not say sorry, bro. Like, come on, man. You gotta get your pride out of the way. You're gonna get dunked on now. Oh. Damn. This is a rock bottom, man. A demon lord has fallen from his grace, bro. We're literally on top of a bunch of trash bags. <laughs> Hero. We are so washed, man. You're gonna give up and be a pussy? You're gonna beat him in your own ways? What you gonna do? This is probably the ending. Ouch. Bro thinks that this entire building... Bro thinks the entire building is hers. Wait till he realizes that we're renting like a one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, very sizable, huh? Castle, right? Crazy shit. Imagine the cost. Imagine being the building owner of this, man. Oh boy. Welcome, Demon Lord. This is your new abode. What do you think? Yup, that's it. This is it. <laughs> this is so real, man. Oh my fucking god, this is so sad. <laughs> no, she got a low salary! She can't afford a better place! <laughs> What's well, Veltal's motivation to be like, For 500 years, you've been living in this shitty ass apartment, getting paid minimum wage. I, Veltal, will change society for you. <laughs> Her suffering from like day-to-day -day life of anybody participating in capitalistic society is so much suffering that Mao is like, I see. I truly know the depth of your loyalty. This is fucked up. You have to live here like this? Or can it at a convenience store? Nah, nah, this is too much. I see. <laughs> this is so sad and funny at the same time. <laughs> This is so funny and sad. He just co walks in. He's baffled by the one fuck. It's not even one bedroom apartment. It's a fucking studio. He's like, I see. You've suffered enough, girl. And she's crying. Oh, fuck. This is so relatable, too. That's the funny thing, man. That's it. That's it. That's the episode. This is so funny to me because how real this is, right? Like, everyone can relate to a scenario like this and, you know, just the team would realizing, fuck, my vassal is a wagey and she's been suffering in the studio the entire time. This is fucked up. I gotta change. I'm so glad I gave this first episode a try. This, this episode... I think that the fight animations, I, I don't think this, an, this anime even has to be about fights, but they've shown, fight animation is a good way to kind of show like, you know, how much they actually give a fuck about the animation quality, right? It, it's pretty good. It's damn above average. And yeah, there's a lot of like, um, 
reverse isekai shows that that that, that exists but a cyberpunk like futuristic uh, reverse isekai with this kind of a story it's pretty unique to me at least and i like to keep watching it right there is uh, what do we know so far um other than his reincarnation and the hero also being here i don't know why the hero is here this society is basically run by marcus and i don't know why ishiyama is like the uh maybe the assistant came up with the mascot maybe the reason the mascot is so important is because she came up with it i was trying to figure out is there like a japanese co a collaborator who like colluded with marcus and started all this shit and betrayed the demon lord maybe the bunny is just from our her bro and she and then you know fucking marcus is like you know she's pretty hot so i'll let her be my like main secretary but she's got some weird interest in the bunny so i'll just go along with it is my head cannon right now um one of the people of our you know six pillars of the demon lords or whatever right them one of them you know betrayed us the five others are our around and kind of seemingly are still on our side one of them actually sacrificed himself there's this chinese chipa wearing girl who is a hacker who's probably going to be very important because you know who how are we going to defeat these guys with familias they abstract all important steps of the magic and they can just do, do like spell break the hacking girl will probably be very important for that nice to see like vtuber references too in the future it looks like vtubers are still going to exist in the future guys if not the future and that's pretty much it i like to keep watching this shit if you guys want to but remember all that matters on the side of youtube is that you actually care about it so hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care